This is a Renault Duster and I have a bone to pick with it. You see, this is the Genesis car of crossovers in India. This, a decade ago, was the car to buy in, Indian, in the Indian market because it had 23% of the market share. But soon enough, manufacturers jumped onto the hype train and other crossovers came and the French SUV became quite old quite quickly. But the Duster legacy remained. Not only did the Duster bring along a huge cult following for itself, but it also deeply planted its roots in the tuner scene in India. You already know where I'm going with this. Welcome to the Drivers Hub. You're watching Autoculture. My name is Bhavneet Vaswani and this is a Stage 2 Renault Duster. When French automotive giant Renault first entered India through a joint venture with Mahindra and Mahindra, it placed high hopes on its maiden product offering, the Logan. A mid-size sedan launched in 2007, but the car with its dated looks and high pricing failed to strike a chord with Indian consumers. Such was the scale of failure that it ended up killing the joint venture in 2010. Renault's brand name took a massive hit in India. Ironically. This Logan's failure laid the foundation for the success of Renault's compact sports utility vehicle, the Duster. Yeah, the Logan was an absolute abolishment to the Indian standards because it was the exact opposite of what India wanted. The French businessmen thought that they knew better than us and knew exactly what we wanted, but they were very, very disappointed because it was less frugal than its competition. It was more outdated than its competition and hardly had any tech inside compared to the cars that were that it was competing with. Then they were reluctant as well because then after that they came out with the Fluence which was a premium sedan and then a Coleos which was a premium SUV uh, out of which both were pretty useless and didn't even keep a mark in the Indian market. But they found a gap and it was quite a biggie of a gap. 10 years ago, if you wanted to buy a real SUV, like from a global competitor like Toyota or Ford, you'd get a Fortuner or an Endeavor and those costed around 20 lakhs at least. But if you wanted an Indian SUV from an Indian manufacturer like a Tata or a Mahindra, you'd be paying around 6 to 10 lakh rupees. And then there's that gap in the middle, which is another 10 lakhs. So, that's exactly where the Duster fits. When it was launched, the Duster came out at 7 lakhs starting up to 12 lakhs X showroom. And that was just the tip of the iceberg because the car was perfect for Indian standards. You see, this isn't the exact same car that's sold in the West. The European uh, Duster doesn't have a reclined seat that is as reclined as this. This is three degrees more reclined. Your power buttons are now on the door instead of a center console. And you also have the option of a rear AC vent and ambient lighting, which is also not there in the West. This and 41 other changes were made for the Indian market specifically. Like on the outside, the body colored bumpers are standard only in India. And this is a special edition, so it has no chrome, but all of the other chrome touches and bits that you see on all the other dusters, those were specific to India only. And the European duster was lower and softer in terms of suspension because Indian roads, Indian suspension. They got so anal that even the door hinges have three instead of two. So you actually have to slam it properly because they knew Indian people are going to slam their doors. You may hear us bashing most SUVs in this segment like the Creta and the Seltos for not being real SUVs, but that's not the case with the Duster. Yes, it might not be on a ladder frame chassis, but it looks like a proper SUV with its squared off wheel arches, muscular lines, and more importantly, it doesn't look like a hatchback on stilts like a Skoda Kushak or even Renault's own Kyger. To solidify my point even more, the Duster was offered with an all-wheel drive with the option of changing it to two-wheel drive solely or locking the diffs. This specific duster has been tuned up to stage 2 and now pushes 170 bhp which dare I say is close enough to Polo GTI category and it's not a heavy car this is just a bit shy of 1.3 tons which makes it quite a fun car to drive this being a diesel 
has quite a lot of push in the lower revs and makes overtaking super fun. Uh, the Duster was originally also known to handle like a sedan and this is no different. There have been changes to the drive shaft. He's made them out of tool steel, which is much stronger than uh, the normal drive shaft that comes. And the results are tremendous. The drive shaft upgrade now allows you to take quite sharp corners and the wheels stay on the road. They do, there is no bunny hopping of any sense. And that makes the car body roll a bit more, but with a little bit of damper, uh, uh, damper upgrade and some springs, this car would feel absolutely amazing to corner in and can you imagine this is a crossover SUV and I'm talking about it like this it does feel amazing and the engine feels relentless throughout now before in the original duster you did have a little bit of turbo lag but now the lag is much smoother because of the tune and uh, steering input feels really nice slightly numb but I mean, it's an SUV, you can't expect it to be completely telepathic. The cabin feels super roomy, even though it is 10 years old and no uh, sunroof. You still have this custom starlight interior, which feels amazing looking up and it looks really nice. There is quite a lot of visibility everywhere and it's a very fun car to drive, to be honest. I am enjoying this. When it comes to the mods for this stage 2 configuration, it really isn't anything out of the ordinary. A simple downpipe, performance air filter from KN and a Code 6 tune. This car now produces a very healthy 170 bhp and 400 Nm of torque. More importantly, this being a manual, the car feels very engaging to drive and the relentless surge of torque always puts a smile on your face as well as your wallet because it can still deliver some amazing fuel efficiency. Other modifications to this build include this super nice carbon fiber trim steering wheel, some more ambient lighting and the starlight roof liner like I mentioned. Dusters can be bought in the used market anywhere between 3.5 lakhs for a super early model to even 8 lakhs for a modern iteration. All wheel drive dusters are very difficult to come across but if you do find one, well you have a car that is very potent regardless of the terrain, this is one of the cars that can do it all. This is a piece of recent Indian history because if you look at the roads today, pretty much one third of all the cars being sold right now are the same philosophy as the Duster and we've got the late one to thank for it. But if you miss it, fret not because Renault are actually gunning to come out with the next generation of Duster really soon. Do let us know what are your thoughts on this French SUV and what would you do if you had one in your garage. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys. Peace.